Welcome back to another video from your friends at Altitude University. In today's video, we will discuss what to do if you don't pass the Part 107 exam. Students who use Altitude University's Part 107 course have over a 99% success rate of passing the exam on their first try, but if you go it alone and don't pass, we're here to show you what steps to take next. Before we begin, please make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can continue to provide you with more drone related content. Failing the Part 107 exam can be disappointing, but it's important to remember that it's not the end of your journey towards becoming a certified commercial drone pilot. Many people who decide to study without help don't pass on their first try, and there's a clear path to retaking the exam and eventually achieving success. First off, it's important not to get discouraged. We have all experienced not performing at our best on test day. Stay focused on your dreams of becoming a drone pilot and realize that all this means is you need to study a little more. You will pass the exam if you study areas that were a challenge for you and don't give up. After completing the Part 107 exam, you'll receive a report from the testing center that looks like this. This report will indicate whether you passed or failed and tell you the percentage you scored. If you didn't pass, the most important part of the letter is the Airman Certification Standards or ACS codes. These codes will begin with the letters UA, followed by Roman numerals and a combination of letters and numbers. In this test report, one example of a missed ACS code is UA, the Roman numeral I, AK5. This code relates to the ACS for inspection, testing, and demonstration of compliance. You can find each of these codes in the FAA's ACS publication FAA-S-ACS-10B. We'll include a link to the document in the description. Use these codes to show you which areas you need to focus your studying efforts on. If you are taking the test for the first time or didn't pass and are studying to retake the exam, I highly recommend checking out our Part 107 course using the link in the description. You won't be disappointed if you do. Here are four steps we recommend when studying to retake the Part 107 exam. First, review your Airman Knowledge Test Report. The first step after failing the Part 107 exam is to review the letter from the testing center thoroughly. It's best to do this the day after the exam. Give yourself a day to relax and don't worry about picking up studying again until the next day. When you come back to the letter the following day, start by writing down the ACS codes related to the questions you missed. Remember that one code could be related to multiple incorrect answers. Next, you'll want to study the codes you missed. The FAA provides the Airman Certification Standards for the Part 107 exam, which outlines the knowledge areas you need to master. Use the ACS codes to identify which sections to focus on. This will ensure your study sessions are efficient and targeted towards the areas that need improvement. Following that, use study resources. There are many resources available to help you prepare for the Part 107 exam. Consider using online courses like our Part 107 course, study guides and books, practice tests, and join relevant drone forums like our Facebook community, where your other commercial drone pilots can help you master areas you may be having difficulty in. Finally, review all the material. Once you feel like you have mastered the areas you had difficulty in, don't forget to review everything else. With all that completed, you're ready to retake the exam. Here are the steps to follow. Wait 14 days. The FAA requires that you wait at least 14 calendar days before you can retake the Part 107 exam. This waiting period gives you ample time to study and improve on the areas where you were weak. Next, schedule your retake. After the 14-day waiting period, you can reschedule and retake the FAA exam at an approved knowledge testing center. The process is the same as when you scheduled your initial exam. Visit the FAA's website or call a local testing center to set up your appointment. After that, pay the exam fee. Unfortunately, the exam fee is required each time you take the test. Currently, the fee is $175. It's a tough pill to swallow, but consider it an investment. You can make that amount back quickly as a drone pilot. Next, take the exam. On the day of your retake, approach the exam with confidence. You've identified your weak points and studied hard to improve. Trust in your preparation and give it your best effort. It's natural to feel discouraged after failing an important test, but it's crucial to stay positive and not stress too much about it. 
some of the most successful drone pilots didn't pass the Part 107 exam on their first attempt. Failing the exam doesn't mean you won't succeed. It just means you need a bit more preparation. Here are a few tips to help you stay motivated. Remember your goal. Keep an end goal in mind. Becoming a commercial drone pilot opens up many opportunities and passing the Part 107 exam is just one step in that journey. Learn from your mistakes. Use your first attempt as a learning experience. Understanding what you did wrong and correcting those mistakes is a valuable part of the process. Take breaks. Don't overwork yourself. While it's important to study, taking breaks and allowing yourself to relax is equally important. Stressing too much can be counterproductive. Seek support. Talk to others who have taken the exam. They can offer tips, encouragement, and share their own experiences, which can be very reassuring. Failing the Part 107 exam is not a big deal. It's simply a part of the learning process. By reviewing your test report, focusing on the areas that you need improvement, and utilizing the many study resources available, you'll be well prepared for your next attempt. Remember, there's a 14-day waiting period before you can retake the exam, so use that time wisely. Stay positive, keep studying, and you'll achieve your goal of becoming a certified drone pilot on your next try. We hope you enjoyed today's video. From all of us at Altitude University, stay safe out there and happy flying.